Hey guys, today I have a video that you have been requesting non-stop for the last week and a half. So many of you have asked for this and I've been planning it for a while but I've finally got it done. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make a DIY hamster digging tower. Now this is not in any way a difficult DIY, however it does require the use of some tools and not all of the materials are things you'll just find around the household. So you may consider it difficult in that sense but actually building it is very very easy. The tools and materials you need will be on screen now so you can gather them together and also the measurements for these sheets of wood will be on screen as well depending on whether you're making this for a Syrian or for a dwarf or Chinese hamster will depend on the size of wood that you will need and you can either cut this yourself at home if you have the tools or you can usually get it done for free or for a very low price at any hardware store. So now we've got the tools and materials let's get started. To begin you're going to want to take your larger piece of wood and for me that is going to be the six by eight inch piece because I'm making this for a Campbell's dwarf hamster and you're going to want to take your circle cutter. Now mine is an adapter for a drill, you may have a tool that is dedicated to this, doesn't matter as long as it cuts circles. Somewhere near the bottom of the sheet of wood you're going to cut out a circular hole. This is going to be the exit point so when your hamster has burrowed its way down to the bottom they can easily get back out. Next you're going to take your drill with a small drill bit and drill four pilot holes, one in each corner of this larger piece of wood. These will not only act as a guide for putting the screws in but but they'll also help prevent the wood from splitting. Then take one of these small pieces of wood, line it up with two of the pilot holes on one side and attach the two pieces of wood together using screws. Now if you don't want to use screws you absolutely could use a non-toxic glue. PVA glue will work okay for this but it just won't be as strong or you could use a non-toxic hot glue. It is completely up to you. Once you've done that you want to repeat this step with the other smaller piece of wood on the opposite side. At this point your three walls should be securely attached to each other and should look something like this. Then you're just going to want to take your piece of perspex and this is the easiest part. Take a bit of glue, I'm using non-toxic hot glue but again you could use PVA, it would certainly work and you're going to glue it on the back where the open wall is. Make sure to hold it firmly in place while the glue sets and once it's completely dry you can stand it upright and you will have completed your digging tower. Like I said, super, super easy. To provide your hamster with access to the top of the tower, there are a few different things you could do. The first is to simply make them a ladder, which you can make out of any material, but the easiest is definitely lolly sticks. Another thing you can do is to simply buy your hamster a ladder. These are very cheap and can usually be found in the small pet section or the bird section of pet shops. You could also do what I did, which is just take a bendy bridge and use that in place of a ladder. Or if you have any shelves or levels in your cage, the dig box can be placed under one of these. Finally, fill your dig box up with any substrate that you like and give it to your hamster. The great thing about this dig box is because it has one clear side, you can see your hamster tunneling in there and if they decide to make their nest, you can also see that. So it's a nice fun toy for you and your hamster. I really hope you guys enjoyed this DIY. If you did, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up. You can also share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Excuse me. Poor Potassium has so many bad dreams. Every time I come in here, he's fast asleep and squeaking like crazy. Einstein was the only other house we had that really had quite significantly bad, bad dreams. But Potassium's something else.